it's your girl teak so chic and i'm back with another video um if you're new to my channel hey friend and if you are a returning subscriber you a real one so as y'all can see from the title today i am trying doordash um now i will be honest and say that i did try doordash on yesterday and i made over a hundred dollars so that was my first day doing it so today i was like okay let me just take them along with me so this will be a little ride along on how i completed doordash and then i will be doing a comparison between doordash and spark and just kind of giving you all the pros and cons of which one i like better so if this is something you want to watch keep watching and we'll get straight into this video so i just gassed up and now i'm about to go ahead and get started um so on the little thingy you should be able to see it where it says dash now and um as you notice there are some hot spots it doesn't like with spark spark will just give you the order no matter where you at they'll just say hey here's an order versus doordash they'll give you the order where you're nearest so if you see a hot spot that means you have to drive to that hot spot or drive towards that hot spot to be able to get an order so what we're going to do is go ahead and drive to that hot spot and yeah we'll go ahead and get started so keep watching Alright y'all, so I got my first order for $6.50 and I'm headed to Chick-fil-A right now. Um, at the bottom, it does turn red once you're at the Chick-fil-A. So once you pull up to the Chick-fil-A, you're going to go inside, you'll see the signs that says delivery driver or pickup. They'll hand you your food and you're on your way. And shout out to Shamika. This is the person I met the first day of doing DoorDash and she helped me with everything I needed to know, gave me the tips and ropes on everything. All right, so this customer was in a gated community, so you would need the gate code to be able to get in, and most customers will provide you with that. All right, y'all, so you really have some really good people out here um, because he didn't want me to get out the car. He said it was really cold. Um, African-American male came to the car, complimented me like, you look really nice, and I was like, thank you, out here in this gated community. Um, but yeah, so I didn't have to get out of the car. I was going to show y'all me walking to the house, you know, putting the stuff on the porch or whatever, but I didn't have to do that because he came out and met me outside to get it. Um, so that's pretty much all I had to do. Like, and this be taking me like 15 minutes max. Um, if I had to, oh, about to pass my little thing to get up out of here. If I had to compare, um, that to Spark. Um, as far as deliveries, this one is A1. This one is so much better only because I got a bag of food that you get from a restaurant. It's not heavy. It's not weighing down on me. It's just food versus when I'm delivering from Walmart, it's groceries. And you're bound to get apartments, um, people who are on the, like the third floor. Um, so I will, if I had to compare the two, I will say that DoorDash is better as far as the weight of the items and just loading and unloading the groceries or the orders so yeah i would definitely choose doordash for that as far as the wait time as y'all can see when i went to chick-fil-a i was in and out so when i made a hundred dollars yesterday that was i made it quicker than i would have with spark um spark pays you more but you're waiting longer. So with Spark, you have to go up to the Walmart. The order may be ready, the order may not be ready. So you have to sit there and wait. Um, and you have to sit and wait at least 30 minutes before you can cancel. So if you cancel before 30 minutes, then that messes up your metrics and your wait time. Um, and you don't wanna mess up your metrics. That's important. So, um, so just little things like that that you have to just keep in mind when it comes to these orders. Right, y'all for the remaining of the clip i'm just showing you guys all of the restaurants that i went to um that i did have time to record <laughs>
So that concludes this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm about to head over to my next order. Um, I didn't want to bore y'all with orders, so that's why this video is not that long. Um, but I didn't want to bore y'all like, oh my gosh, she about to show us another one. We already know how it go. So that's just the gist of it. Um, and just comparing Dark DoorDash with Walmart delivery. Um, I'm gonna keep both of the apps. I think I like DoorDash better because it's less work <laughs> and it's quicker. I don't have to wait as long. Um, but other than that, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video with someone and um, press that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I drop. And until next time, don't let the devil use you. He ain't your friend. I'm just saying, I'm Tixo Chic, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye. Yeah.